Game, set, match. Welcome, Welcome to, to your, your daily, daily server of M&M's. M&M's. Hey. Woo. Squeaky couch. <laughs> Again, like last time, and you probably heard it the instant you played episode 38. That's your fault. <laughs> I'm Michael. I'm Maria. And yeah, 38. What a great number, isn't it? Great uh. number. Now now I'm sad. All the episodes after this just suck. They're all they're all crap. No. <laughs> Until we get to like a hundred and thirty eight and then I might be happy again. <laughs> you are despicable for Make it like a Macca's order where it's like always one thirty eight. <laughs> like they're never going to the two hundreds. <laughs> I don't like that they do that. <laughs> I don't like it. I would love to know if you had a really busy Macca's, like if they and you made a really big order at like 101, like you had like 50 items in your Macca's order, and then they get served through like the next 100, and then they finally call your numbers out. Like, which number is it? <laughs> Do they then go to like 101A, 101B? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you think in the comments. How does Macca's, you know... Solve that problem. <laughs> so to be a sports channel, not a Macca's channel. Macca's are a major sponsor of sports. But I really don't care. Especially footy. I, I don't care. Speaking of footy, um, we have round zero or opening round starting this coming week. Woo. Exciting. It doesn't really yes. count. I'm not watching it. Um, okay, no, I probably will. I probably will watch yep. it, but like, I mean, I just take it with an absolute pinch of salt because it's. Well, it's stupid. been going well this preseason, though. I know, you've been flogging everyone. Like, what the hell? 100 plus points or some crap. Like, uh, uh, come, come, uh, real season time. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, oh, whoops, pulled a hammy in preseason. Sorry, I can't kick it straight anymore. <laughs> Norton. For the record, we, we do have drinkies. Um, and we've got some segments to discuss, but... No, I have some news. We have news and segments. Um, Can I start with my biggest news? By all means. Tillies! Tillies! Uh, in the Olympics! Woo. I'm not sure about soccerers, but who cares about them? <laughs> it's not women's football. Who cares? Women's soccer, she means. It's football. First of all... <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Football. <laughs> Honestly, I meant to see was a joke, right? Mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't watch it. Cause... Like, like you know, like, <laughs> like, like our our women's team is at this point in time is more successful than our men's team, right? Mm. And it's um, I'm not I'm not saying that the women's would beat the men. That's different. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm just saying, success-wise, the women are doing better than the men. Yeah, I mean, I don't really watch it, but I, if I had to venture a guess, like, chances are good, probably the women's team might actually be be drawing more crowd as of late than the men's. Yeah, because I think it's just more... Granted, s- granted, you're only comparing, like, 50 to 100 at this point, right? Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shocking. laughs> the Nintendo's have sold out so many games. It's crazy. What is it? Yeah, no, nah, because like you know how like like the biggest league in in football is the EPL, right? The English Premier League. Yeah. And it's like we ha- we none of I think we only have one Aussie in the EPL, right? And then for the women's, the women version of the EPL is the uh, women's Super League. And there's so many Aussies in that. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's so it's so different. Mm. Anyways, uh, the Socceroos are playing against Lebanon on the thirty on the twenty first um. March. <laughs> uh, sorry. Goodness. So, uh, yeah, this is the second round. I'm not sure how we've played against them in the. Okay, cool. And then we play Bangladesh. 
and then Palestine. Hmm. Well, that's fun. <laughs> I think we should beat them all, but like, who knows? Yeah. Mm. I don't. I don't know. Oh no, it's Tilly's. <laughs> but yeah, we watched. Tattoo. This is not news, but Haley Rasso got a tattoo. It's a bow. A bow. Because she wears bows. Because her grandma gives her bows, the color of the of the uh, team that she's playing as, so her grandma can see her on the field. Okay. What is that? What is that response? I mean, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm sort of confused, but I'm not gonna. Confused. I'm just gonna. Okay. okay, I'm going to explain it again to you then. No, yes, you, I, I really don't want anyway, to know. Anyway, so I'm going to forget when I wake up tomorrow. I really don't care. But anyway, <laughs> so so Haley Haley Rasser, right? Her, her grandma, like, sent her uh, ribbons, like mm-hmm. hair ribbons, of the color of to match the color of the Guernsey that she's wearing. So she could find her easily on field. Okay. Just kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> you have no emotions, my dude. <laughs> Except anger. It's great. That's really. You nice. should get some. No. Competitive edge. I feel. No. I, f- I actually do think that aggression is a really good competitive edge. Okay, but it makes you play not so good. If you can kind of control it, I feel like it definitely helps. You can't control it. I really think you can. You have no control over it. Like, I feel like, as a pitcher, I'm definitely a better pitcher when I'm calm. But as a batter, I am, like... I'm deadly as a batter when I'm, like, pissed off. Like, And that's why I keep trying to tell my coach. I'm just like, let me know if you want me to play the field or if you want me to pitch. Like, it's a different... I've got to psych myself up differently. I mean, like, I'm still pretty... I'm still, like, aggressive as a pitcher. Like, like, my coach has, like, come up to me after a game one time and just been, like, dude, like, I walked up to the mound just to, like, waste the fucking time sort of thing because we play by time limits, not innings. Um, Just in, like, the regular season, then finals is when... We play by innings. But he come up to me. He's just like, yeah, we're just trying to burn the time. <laughs> what are you having for dinner tonight, fam? Yeah, that's literally what they do. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're, they're but like bit... Shane Warren came up with it first. Everyone else just followed. <laughs> I mean, like, we talk about all the other shit as well, right? Like, you know, you come up and you're like... It's like... You know, I, I don't mean to bring you into it, but like, you know... And I don't say it, but you know, sometimes they come up and they're like... So did you have shag last night? Ew, that is disgusting. <laughs> it's, it's just, they say it, but you know, they don't really expect an answer because then they just go, look, I'm just here just to burn time. Do you know what I mean? They just sort of say it, not to like, just to sort of put you at ease. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not here for you to feel angry or anything. I'm just having a friendly okay, chat. Okay, move on now. Anyways, but, um, oh fuck, I lost my train of thought. What was I sort of saying? Anger. Oh, uh, yeah, but, like, yeah, I I still, when I'm pitching, you know, he, like, walked up to me, he's like, I just wanted to say, like, I just want to burn time, but he's like, I got scared getting to the man, because, like, you just look like you're ready to fucking kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that's that's how I have to prepare myself when I go out to pitch. I'm just, it's like, I'm going to, it's like, this is my man, that's my strike zone, as a bad eye, you can fuck off. <laughs> but, like, it's also, like, a very collected emotion as well. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not going to... If this bloke hits a bomb, I'm not going to get too pissed off. Mm. But I'm going to make sure that he doesn't hit a fucking bomb either. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Anyways. Um... But yeah, that's... I feel like it, it definitely does help athletically. And like I say, as a batter, I'm just like... If I'm angry, I just I hit better. I don't know what it is, I just... I hit better. 
It's like, I just want a fastball just to fucking spit on it, basically. Cool. But yeah. Anyways. Segment? Sure, which segment you want to do? Do you want to do the, the, the new one? The new one. Mm-hmm. Sure. Alright. So, shall I explain this new segment? Yes, because I forgot already. <laughs> So this is our new segment. It's called the Guessing Blind segment. Can you not? <laughs> Marie's trying to prod and I want to poke jab me and belly. poke. No, you're not allowed to poke my Why? belly. Because. That's not a good reason. <laughs> We're trying to do a podcast. Okay, but I want to have fun. We're going to have fun. We're about to do a segment. Okay. It's called the Guessing Blind segment. The way it works is... We're going to give each other three hints at a sport. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be a game. I suppose it can be a game, yeah. And those three... I picked a game. Okay. Okay. And basically we give out like stats or rules or something. It's kind of... It's similar to the um, Describe It Poorly, but it's... I feel like we were talking about it to be more of a statistics thing, and we had to guess the statistics. So, do you want to go first with the guessing blind? You go first. I go first? <clears throat> Alright, bear with me two seconds. Sick dude, sick. 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 Fanmeal. Alright. So. No, I'll try that again later. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to do... Be this one, I think. Nice. Why can't I like? <laughs> this is so... You good? No. <laughs> you go. You go, good Coco. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hammett, do you want to go first? I'll okay. let you go first. Okay. Okay, so this is a game. Okay. Okay. Interchanges by the winning team. It's 25 out of 999. Because <laughs> apparently there's no limit in previous season. <laughs> I have to get that out of me. <laughs> so 25 out of 900. Yeah. That is horrendous. Okay. Disposal efficiency, 76%. <laughs> Alright. The winning team scored 17 goals and 17 behinds. I have a feeling this is the Bulldogs-Hawks yeah. game. Yep. Bro, look at that. <laughs> it's, it's, really, it's really out of 999. That's crazy. <laughs> Like, how many interchanges are you going to make, man? Right? Can you just, like, do one, like, every second? Um, I really need someone to do that now. Like, Honestly. I need a team to just mess Honestly, around. Do, do they get, like... Do, does someone, like, hit their soft cap if they, like, exceed that or something? <laughs> <laughs> AFL penalty. <laughs> There's a penalty for going over. I know, but, like... You should have learned until last year because North Melbourne messed up or something. I don't know Yeah, no, that was... But, like, imagine going over a 1,000 in pre-season, like... Would the AFL really care? Or would the, like the counter just like reset? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Do they just chuck know. another nine at the end of nine hundred ninety nine? I don't don't think they care. <laughs> it's preseason, <laughs> but like that's a bit ridiculous. It's kind of funny. Because <laughs> what, what's the limit? Seventy five, isn't it? In season? Yeah, I think it is seventy five. Because it used to be unlimited, and then it was like one twenty. Yeah, and then... I know, it's 75. You don't want it to be any less. Yeah. Oh, no, I forget. If it keeps... 
<laughs> his athletes will like literally just like be retiring like ACLs they, all day every day <laughs> honestly it'll literally just be like all these players are retiring by the time they're like 23 <laughs> 22 <laughs> yeah. they need gymnastics it's like <laughs> all these like young kids will be coming onto the scene like go home gramps <laughs> <laughs> No, Boy, you run like a fossil. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You're, you're more basic than tofu. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, go. Oh, good. Give me one. It's just really hard to get these things up, and they don't really give you. I was really hoping to get one all, with all these stats, but they don't really do stats for this. For what? Bulldog's at the bottom of the ladder. Because we start with a W. W. Where is... If I go here... Hopefully... Oh my god, it's so slow. <sighs> you great, fam. Great. Oh, it does took. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Half left. So is this like a sport, or are you doing like a match? I'm doing a match. Well, I know it. Probably not. Oh, great. So. No. <laughs> it is the number 18 versus number 20 ranked schools. Sorry? Number 18 versus number 20 ranked schools is my first hint. That's also at the time when they played, which I imagine is still the same because it was only a couple of days ago. Um, final score was 1 0. But there were 22 hits for one team. Sorry, there were tw two hits for one team and six hits for oh, the so other. Oh, so this is baseball. I was like, oh, soccer. Not quite. Softball. It is NCAA Division One softball. Specifically, I don't know, Georgia. <laughs> You're not too far away, actually. <laughs> I don't know. It was the Florida Gators Ew. and UCLA, where Florida won 1 0. Ew. I've been trying to watch more softball. I watched one game last week, which because I'm basically, uh, I can't even English, I've basically been watching mostly Oklahoma State. Uni softball because they're my NCAA Div 1 team. Fair enough. Do you have any news? Do I have any news? Of course I've got news. Any news? You old fossil. A fossil. Well, I think it's not really my news. I guess it's sort of shared news and I kind of spoke about it to start with. We've got AFL footy season starting up this week. Yeah. And I am just absolutely pumped for it because... Well, who wouldn't be, right? Um, so, yeah. And... Um, yeah, Essendon's... <sighs> I wonder How's pick... your pre-season gone? Apparently we've also... Um, wasn't... I don't think it was Redmond. Who was it? It was one of our other... Um, I think it was Backman, or was it a midfielder? Oh, hang on. Give me one second, because it was in the AFL apps news, I believe. If I can find it. Oh, actually, I can just Google Essendon football. Essendon mm -hmm. Bombers. Essendon footy. And let's go news. Um... Where was it? Uh, 
Essendon. Are you good? I'm just trying to find. You lost to Geelong. Yeah. Well, one of our players, we re basically re renegotiated a contract extension for him, which I'm happy for because he's a really good player. Um, I just can't remember him for the life of me. Um, oh, Essendon, squad. This will help me. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, Ridley, Jordan Ridley. Oh, okay. Jordan Ridley. So I can, I was like, Redman, Ridley, they kind of sort of sound the same, like the Rid Red thing. <sighs> so I've, just part of me was thinking Redman, I'm just like, no, it's not Ridley, that's it. Um, yeah, no, we've extended him and he's a, oh, he's so good, he's a really good player. So I'm really glad that we've extended his contract. I think it's through to 2026, I think. So it's basically just like another year or something. Yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> um, yeah. So with that being said, do we want to talk about our second segment, which is our AFL season predictions? Is that what we want to do right now? Okay. Yeah. Or did you want to talk about something else? I just wanted to say that Penguins had a three-game win streak, and we lost it, I think, to Seattle. And it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. We want to bet against Vancouver, which is what matters the most, right? Because I can't let Dad know that we suck. Yeah, exactly. But you can rub it in his face that you won, right? Exactly. 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 I <laughs> saw so Dad, was it Friday before we came back to Eltham? I was like, oh, we've been in one Stanley's Cup final. It's like, yeah, you're as bad as Fremantle fan. It's nothing to be proud of. Oh, me. I lost to Flames 4 3 in overtime. Oh, that one hurts a bit. Play Oilers tomorrow. You play my boys tomorrow? Mm. I don't think you're going to get that one. Sorry. Oh, excuse me, sir. I really excuse don't. Me? Excuse me. Sir? Sir? I'm sorry. We've got... Sir, excuse me. I'm sorry. We sir? have a better coach. Sir? Excuse me. We have a better coach. No, actually, we trade a lot of our good players throughout the, se throughout the past few seasons. Okay, we've got the better coach. No, you just have better players. We have pretty good players, I'm not going to lie. Actually, look, it's the coach and the players. We were, we were shit first, like, I don't know, 10, 20 games of the season. Now we're, like, literally the hottest team. Do you know how many star players we've traded in the past few seasons? I'm kind of sad. <laughs> I and I don't think Sippy Kid's going to stay around for too much longer. And then when he goes, it's going to go... Poof. And I'm going to die inside. I feel like you've still got some... Who's your other centre? I don't know. Oh, the name escapes me. But he's... Is actually... it Gunstall? Mm, I'm... Actually, yeah. I think it is. I thought you had another one. Um... Latang? Latang, I think. No, I actually, like no, he's, no, he. Yeah, he's old too. It, it is Latang, but he. yeah, he's not a centre. He's That's, old. Yeah, nah. He, he's not as old as Crosby, though, is he? Uh, I thought he's, he's like 31 or something. Well, he has been there for, I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> Chris Latang. Chris Latang is? Latang. 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 <laughs> 36. Is he? Oh my god. He's old, yeah. He's not going to be there for too much longer. Either. This is probably his last year, really. Yeah, we have old people. Yeah. Or kids. We have nothing happening in between. <laughs> and so when the old people retire, we're going to... At least you get to keep Sid the kid for all... Pe like, I, I like it when players stay with one team for the, like, the, long the lifetime of their... The tenure at the... Yeah, I do, but at the same time, I don't really care, because it's a 
it's work, right? It's business. Yeah, exactly. I get it. It's just right. nice when that happens, though. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it is. But, like, at the same time, I'm not going to be upset. I mean, I'm going to be upset, like, but I'm not going to be rude about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, everyone wanted Brady to stay in New England, and rightfully so. He was... He's a legend, right? Like, literally won us our first Super Bowl, and then gave us, like, six more. Or, I guess, sorry, five more, so six in total. <coughs> but he wanted more. He still wanted more, and New England were just shitting the bed. Just so bad. Couldn't draft for shit. And Brady just, he was getting hit in his last season at New England. And he's just like, this is not what I want. And that's why he went, all right, piss this idea off. I'm going somewhere else. And then Tampa Bay was the best yeah, fit. Yeah, it's like, I get attached to players. But like, if they do leave, I, I get it. Cause it's, it's also to work, right? It's, not, it's more than just sport. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And that's why. Especially t- at that level. Mm. But if you're five year old, right, it doesn't, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a living. <laughs> I find it funny how, um, like, especially in in sport, how the um, the you can tell the people in the comments that really don't understand sports. I'm just like, mm. <laughs> so I remember when uh, Josh Bruce did his ACL trying to sort of stop a goal from happening against the Bulldogs. Like, oh, he should have been trying to get that, you know. Like, if he didn't do that, he was like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Are you okay, fam? Like, athletes, you get, you know, like, you, you, you know, you get taught to just, like, put your body on the line. Like, honestly. Do you know what I mean? It's like, if he didn't do that, I feel like Trevor would have been mad. It was going to be a loser situation. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I feel like people don't understand that. So, like, it's like, but, like, at the same time, if he didn't do that, uh, you know, he probably would have done his ACL just going, just running. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, honestly, literally, do, do you know what I literally mean? stepping off a ladder or some shit, right? <laughs> yeah, right, do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's like it's an ACL. It's not like, no matter what you do, it doesn't mean it's going to not happen. Do you know what like, I mean? like it's, uh, it, it happens. It just happens. You can't yeah, find it out. It's not like, oh, what he did was stupid. That's what his ACL. It's like, not really. Yeah, exactly. Not really? Like, do you understand? Like, do you... Like those, like those type of people don't, like especially with the Travis Kelsey situation at the Super Bowl. It's like you don't understand sports. Like honestly. Like. I I find it funny how people, uh, like viewers of sports are always the first one to, like, talk shit about athletes. Like they're human. Like, they're human. They're human. Yeah, I know. They they treat them like they're they're meant to be invincible. Oh, yeah, I know. It was like that's not. No, they're not. It's like, it's, these are no. injuries. Like, <laughs> like, like they're, they're human. It's not, they're not made out of steel, fam. And a lot of the times, these are people that just, they don't even work out. Do you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I, I bet you they never played elite sport oh. in their life. I'm just like, fam, like, you need to relax. It's just, like, they have breaking points as well. And then so, sometimes <laughs> there's also these people that think they're just, abs- like, th- there are the gym junkies that watch sports, but they've never played sports. And they think, oh, well, I'm super buff and nothing hurts me. But it's like, well, then go out and do a fucking play, sport. Play a sport. Play a sport um, and see how long you last. Go play squash. See how your legs, play, see how your legs feel. A... See how your legs feel playing intense squash. <laughs> playing sport's a whole different thing. Because I remember during COVID, like I did my ACL, but I was like trying to get back. But it's like nothing can't, nothing else really can implement match readiness. Yeah, exactly. Like the gym doesn't. It's not the same. Nah, it's, it's not. not the same. Nah. No matter how much you try to it, sort of. I think you know, baseball's imp- probably the best one to really distinguish between s- sport and like. And I'm not saying that to be biased, but like from playing various other sports, I really do believe it is baseball it just in terms of distinguishing between the physicality of sports and physicality of like working out like baseball is just it's not the same like <laughs> what are you doing why are you laughing <laughs> wildlife wildlife okay cool sorry <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, no, it's like you can never, like, you can't implement match play in a gym. It just doesn't. Work. Yeah, exactly. It, it can't, you can't. Mm. 
like it's it's, it's so it's, I can't explain it any other way because it's so different. Yeah, exactly. And it's so different. Mm. But yeah, do you want to do segment? Sure. Well, let's get into that fun segment of AFL predictions, shall uh, we? Bulldogs, uh, Brunton Pally, twenty twenty four. It's, it's their season. Because <laughs> ChatGPT said it. Yeah. Because <laughs> ChatGTP said so. <laughs> Also, oh, Ticket Tech is making me anxious. Yeah. So I think a lot of the bottom teams from last year are probably still going to be fairly low. Like, North Melbourne is... North Melbourne's a joke. <laughs> um, the whole... I think probably the thing that hurt the most was the Alistair Clarkson thing last season. Just... You know how like he was there for four games and then bug it off because of the allegations and stuff and I think it's hard to know what's going to happen with North Melbourne he hasn't really developed the players from last season so I think they're still going to be much the same so um, I think I do think North Melbourne's kind of the same team I just thought of an idea what did you think of? can you explain to me why you go for Essendon? why do I go for Essendon? yeah In what sense? Like, why did you pick Essendon? Mum's team. Mum's team. Oh, I mean, I couldn't go with Dad's team because Dad's Canadian. He doesn't have a team. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so your the, story is boring. Well, I mean, at the same time, like, Eltham down here wear the black and red. Right? Okay, so, see, like, that's more interesting. So, like, I'm... Like, you know, being, you know, pretty close to it, like, I know it's like, oh, black and red, oh, okay, that's Essendon. I guess I just kind of thought Essendon, I feel like I was just, it was like, I lived close to it, so it must have been my team. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Some white boy <laughs> stuff right there. I was stupid, I was six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And besides, Bombers sound cooler than all the other teams. Like, they really do. Like, Bulldog sounds cool, but when you think of what a Bulldog looks like, it's a pretty piss-weak-looking dog. <laughs> no. It really is. We've, we've, we've modified it to look that way over years. Like, you could have called yourself the Western German Shepherds. Like, <laughs> No. No. It would have been a bit more fierce. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Bulldog sounds scarier. <clears throat> like, when I think of German Shepherd, I think of running and throwing the ball. <laughs> I don't think of... The Western Wolves, the Footscray Wolves. That would have been a good one. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. We are red, white, and blue. <clears throat> it makes sense that it's the Bulldogs. When have you seen a red, white, and blue bulldog? British bulldog, Australian bulldogs, flags are red, white, and blue. That's just terrible. No, it's not. It makes sense. You could literally apply that to like literally <coughs> everything else. <coughs> Magpies. Okay, Aussie magpie. Job done. Aussie. Magpies <laughs> are black and white. All you're doing is applying the colours to the flag. It's not to the animal. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Anyways, yeah. I don't really... I think Essendon is going to have one of two outcomes this year. They're not going to be a middle-of-the-pack team. They're either going to improve or they're going to fall apart. No, you're not going to be like the Bulldogs? No. No. Okay. We, do, I, do you want to know why I go for Bulldogs? Because your dad gave you one choice. Okay, Sorry, no. gave you two choices. <laughs> Bulldogs. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's a little bit deeper than that. <laughs> so mum goes for North Melbourne. Yeah. And she's Catholic. Mm-hmm. Dad hates religion. And is a Bulldog supporter. So <clears throat> mum and dad had a deal that if I was to be brought up Catholic, I had to be a Bulldog supporter. Basically, and then Dad also gave me the two choices 
with your bulldogs and death and when you're five years old you think life is great <laughs> and now I'm 25 and look at petrol prices I want to die <laughs> is it too late to pick the death <laughs> yep oh goodness <laughs> I still brought a common with scarf at like 12 years old and then your dad tried to burn it on, on the I don't remember that part but I do remember the part where you actually put it in the bin <laughs> this is why I keep my Jamie Elliott doll far away from dad <laughs> like, nah fam you're not touching that it's, I, it's mine but yeah I think North Melbourne are probably going to be one of the spooners yeah probably okay cool who's going who's gonna to be minor premier minor prems um, mm-hmm. that is a good one It. I don't think Collingwood's going back to back no, but I like friends. to think so. Frio. I mean, <laughs> I mean, almost. I really do want Frio to win. But on one condition, I want them to wear the retro Guernseys on Grand Final Day. I know, the retros are great. I think that's the only t- time they'll win if they wear the retro Guernsey. Yes. Such a good colour. It's, it, it's, uh, it's so good. It was so good. I know. They messed up. Like, I feel like it... On paper, if you put those colours next to each other, I feel like they don't quite work. But on the jersey, just, it does look good. You messed up by making it better. Quotation marks. Is that what they said? I feel like people think it's better, but it's, it's not. It's not. It's definitely not. You went backwards with your designs. I'm sorry. Um, like, I'd wear, I'd wear a... Uh, a retro fear Guernsey, but I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> I think... I'll look at the pictures, but I'm not going to wear it. I think probably... Um, this is a good question. Minor premiers. Um, I actually kind of think it might be Port Adelaide. They are second favourite team. They're my backup team. Second favourite interstate team. So so I go Bulldogs, then Collingwood my second. Yep. Uh, and then I had to go your team, obviously. <laughs> um, because I'm Thank you. In that. And I have to go for Melbourne, because I made a pact with my brother that is in Canada, that I have to go for Melbourne, unless they play the Bulldogs. Mm. So, like, that's my top four, sort of. <laughs> and then my backups are Fremantle and Port. So I like everyone except uh, in Geelong. Yeah. I I actually don't like uh, GWS either. Like, obviously, because I'm a Bulldog supporter. Yeah, I think... I actually think GWS will probably be a top eight team this year. Possibly even a top four. Yo. I know, I'm sorry. I do think that... I think Frio actually also cracked the top eight. So they're, they're a dark horse that I think are coming into okay. this year. Will they miss the top four? I think so. Okay. I think so. Can they do a Bulldogs? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go Frio. Um, now, if Frio come in, someone has to drop out of the top eight from last year. It wasn't the top eight even. Uh, you had um, Sydney, GWS. Yeah, Sydney. Sydney's kind of in the same bubble as Essendon. I think they're either going to be really good or not so good. Bum bum. But. I don't think uh, they're going to do well. I think it could be Carlton. Carlton. Nah. nah. I think they. I think they expect. Um, Kerno to put the Superman cape on week in, week out. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what they pay him for. Big bucks, man. <laughs> what do you mean? That's what he's meant to do. That's in his job description. It's like trying to... That's what they put down. That's, the, that's what they put down in the description when they gave him the contract. It's like when they ask, you know, all these quarterbacks to put the superhero cape on. It's like, no, that's not how this works. Yes. It's not. Have you seen the Pittsburgh Penguins? We've been like Crosby since day one. <laughs> It's worked. We got back-to-back 
Yeah, like I don't see what the issue. And but like Collingwood last year, they didn't ask anyone to put a superhero cape on. Right? Like as much as I hate Collingwood. No, because you had the Dead Cost Brothers, so you had two you kind of <laughs> they really were it really was like shared superhero capes <laughs> I just yeah no I, I I can't see Carlton this year doing it I didn't think their draft was great um I'm taking them out of the top eight um be you well I think the rest of the competition is better like I think I think Melbourne is going to be better this year. I think... I think Sydney will be better, but I don't know how much better. Nah. So what, you've got Melbourne out of the top eight? No, in saying? the top eight. Sydney's out. Sydney's out? All right. What about Essendon? Where are they in yours? Ooh. Mm-hmm. We need to make space for the Bulldogs, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they might just have to miss up bad game. I think they get. I think <laughs> Essendon might finish like thirteen or something. I'd look. I'm. Did maybe, Essendon finish top eight? No. Oh, okay. No, nah. we were two games. I think behind you. I okay, think. we were like one game away, like last season. season yeah, so I think fun. it was Bulldogs. Should we do Geelong. that for? If we do that for a third season in a row, I'm throwing hands. <laughs> Sorry, I'm suing for psychological damages, man. <laughs> like, stop it! Stop it! Um, I think Richmond and St Kilda are probably also... St Kilda is interesting. St Kilda is interesting. They're a bit of a Bulldogs kind of team as well. And that's why I have to be out this season. <laughs> I mean, I feel like... If they... Like, I know it's my grandfather's team, but I really don't care. I, I have... I think I probably have Sydney... Sorry, not Sydney. St Kilda as a top eight team. Top four? No. D- oh. No. Not a top four team. But yeah, I think... So my top four would probably be Collingwood, Port Adelaide. As in... I'm not saying it in any order, I'm just giving the Of course four. you are. So, alright, in order it would be Port Adelaide, um, Brisbane, Collingwood, and probably GWS. Mm. I think Port Adelaide is just... Ew. They have the best... <laughs> Roster going into this year, I think they're it, they've got to be the favourite. Okay, so what about to miss the top eight? To miss the top eight. Well, that's like ten teams, babe. <laughs> to miss the top eight, you can just say who you think is going to make the top eight, and then and everyone then, else misses. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, just exactly. It. So I gave you the top four. My next four would probably oh, it would probably be Melbourne, Melbourne. I'd probably go Adelaide. Port Adelaide. No, Adelaide. Oh, Crows. Crows. Yeah. To be specific. Oh, I did say Port Adelaide was my number one. <coughs> okay. So there's only one Adelaide left. Um. So Melbourne, Adelaide. And then I probably would have the Bulldogs at seven. Hey, and let's do it, guys. And and I probably have Frio at eight. So that's my top eight. Are they getting in by a? a, a, a no, goal? I think. <laughs> Like, I think it'll probably be one game ahead, but, like, they will have been the top eight. I don't think... It, it's not going to be, like, two years ago where Bulldogs snuck in because Carlton lost. I that think was it, a great day. Thank you, Collingwood. <laughs> I think it'll be the case that Fremantle are in there the week in going into the final round, and then they'll win their game to secure it, basically. Against the Bulldogs? Probably. <laughs> hey, you'll probably finish six and then that loss will d- drag you down to seven. Job done. <laughs> 20, like 20... Was it 2021? That was a crazy year. Where you finished five? 
Bro, like, for the first, like, in the beginning, we were, like, number one. I was like, what? <laughs> when, when did this ever happen, fam? Why? I'm uncomfortable. It's just too high. Humble yourself a bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Stop it. What are your thoughts? Who's top eight? I don't really get this. So. Well, what are your thoughts? I'm probably way off, right? But, like... This is just what I feel. Honestly, I feel like... Um, Bulldog's number one. <laughs> no, definitely not. Who is the number one team? We, we tried 2021, we couldn't even do that. We, we went... Uh, so, like, seventh? Bulldog's seven? That's a sweet spot. Okay. Or eighth? <laughs> Wait, you just sneak in? <laughs> Possibly. Because we like to do that. Um, and that's all I got. I think I think a Brisbane final. Brisbane Premiership. Minor Prems or like the Premiership. Oh just okay, so Brisbane take it all yeah. the way. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't be I would, I'd actually like to see Brisbane Port Adelaide this year. I think that'd oh, be that'd a fun, be fun that'd be fun. Yeah. Just, uh, I feel like there's not a real big rivalry uh, there, do you know what I mean? And it'd just be yeah. a fun game. Think. Yeah, no, I take that back. I need a Victorian team in there. Why? Because I, I, if, if it's not going to be, <laughs> if it's not going to be with the Bulldogs, the Premiership, it might as well be somewhere Victoria. I feel like it would be good to have Brisbane, Port Adelaide, It'd be fun. Okay, but Brisbane versus who? I mean Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Who's your number one team? Who, who did Collingwood even play? I forgot. What, last year? Yeah. Brisbane! Oh, okay. <laughs> like I said, I was looking out for revenge. <laughs> I forgot. I, I don't care. I don't. <laughs> like, go grab a final half and then zone me one. But yeah. Like, it's. There's other things happening in the world, fam. Do you want to publish now? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll save it. I'll save it. Anyways. Um, so who, who is your number one team this year? Is it, would it be Brisbane? Let's go Brisbane. Yeah, yeah, Brisbane. What about your number two? Collingwood. <laughs> nah. nah. I feel like there's always premiership hangovers are too common. <laughs> it always happens. I feel like that's a fair statement, though. Like, if you look back, it is kind of like that. It's like you win Premiership, don't make top eight next season. Yeah. And, and then, unless you're like, you know, Richmond, but like, that's a different story. Um, if they can make it in the top eight, I'd be surprised. Um, I'm talking about Collingwood, by the way. I think they, I mean, yeah. I do hate them, but I'd love to see Collingwood not make the top eight, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I think Craig McRae is just way too good of a coach. I just... No, I've seen it too many times. I can't... I can't be bothered. I just don't... It's just... I can't. <laughs> so... Um, I, Maybe Melbourne. Melbourne? Yeah. All right. What about Geelong? Mm-hmm. Geelong is kind of questionable. In the middle. Middle pack? Fair enough. Yeah. So like, possibly, but maybe not. Possibly they might miss out by a goal. Miss out by a goal. Like literally on point percentage, you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks to be them. <laughs> <laughs> like it oh, could go out of way. Like it's either they're missing or they're just making. There's no one between. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. Uh, <laughs> their, their retirement village need to go home. If oh we do lose to them, I'm going to cry there. What about Carlton? Are they in your top eight? On the bubble again? Like they're like a little bit above middle tier? So like the five, six sort of thing? Five, six, seven? Is that what you're saying? Like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's... Okay, so... I have a 50% chance of making the top eight, but a 50% chance of missing it as well. Alright, what about GWS? GWS. 
excellent momentum at the end of last year. I have to, but who cares? Um, uh, like I don't know, six maybe. Not top four. I don't think they're making top four. Okay. No, that's fair. All right. Uh, what about Port Adelaide? Top eight. Okay, I feel like they're either gonna just miss top four or just make it. Okay, but definitely top eight. Yeah. Yeah. Adelaide Crows. Adelaide Crows. In... Depends. So kind of in the same bubbly area. Yeah. Okay. All they right. might sink or swim. Who knows? Frio. Oh, yeah, top ten for sure. Top eight? <laughs> Somewhere there. <laughs> Essendon. I think, I think they can rise to the occasion. Not Essendon. I'm talking about Fremantle. <laughs> Essendon. Maybe 13th. I feel like they're probably a 13th team. I'm going to hope that Maybe 15th. I hope Essendon make the top eight and then win a final just to piss that fucking drought spell off. <laughs> Have you met the Bulldogs? We've got really good players, Essendon. What a 62 year plan. Yeah. I feel like. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, you gotta finish seventh again, right? Yeah. In what, another. Where, where were we on the ladder? Where were we on the ladder when we went our first playoff final? No idea. No, I don't know either. I wonder, was, would this thing actually tell me all the way back? Like, can I actually use the no. AFL app to go all the way back the to... The AFL... And then it goes back uh, as far as 2012. Ew. 1954. Well, that would have been the BFL as well. Okay, so... Let's have a look. I really Show us. need to know. Footscree. The minor premiers were Geelong. <laughs> he sucked. <laughs> oh, we finished second. Oh, Okay. Okay, so what I'm taking from this, we either have to finish 7th or 2nd, okay? No in between guys. Got go to start with an S. Your position, right? Exactly, yeah, yes. Yeah, if your position on the ladder starts with an S, champions. Good to go. That's from Wikipedia though, so if I'm wrong, it's not me, it's Wikipedia. Yeah, no, it's probably correct. But yeah, so 2nd or 7th? Yeah, or 6th, because that works as well. We'll see. Yeah, because you haven't finished 6th. I think we have. Well, then you didn't win it. 2021, did we finish 6th or 5th? 5th. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was right. Yeah. It wasn't an S. Yeah, it wasn't an S, it was an F. Oh, okay. It was an F for fuck off. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me, sir? Sir? <laughs> sir? <laughs> sir? Just FYI, you could also do the same with Melbourne because they finished first. <laughs> I don't care, sir? <laughs> What about North Melbourne? Mm, nah. Wooden spoons? Yeah. Who else would be... Uh, what, do you, what do you think is going to be the wooden spoon team? I Is can't... It, I don't know what to do about West Coast because they really had a bad run with injuries last season. And that's why all their good players will be back this season, right? Yeah, <laughs> so I can't... I don't know. Well, I mean, they also got Harley Reid, right? They could the be... But, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what, what the players good players are going to do this season, right? Because we didn't see them last season, so I can't really base any performance on that. I mean, yeah, I mean... Do you know what I mean? So, they're a surprise. Yeah, I think... I, I do think West Coast are probably going to be floating around that same bubble, like, you know, the 16 to 18 sort of hole, um, but... Yeah. Oh, Hawthorne. Have we talked about Hawthorne? Hawthorne, Hawthorne. Yeah, no. They're, they're growing, but they're still not there yet, I don't think. Um, I, I think there's a chance that Hawthorne could be higher on the ladder than Essendon, but questionable. Just depends on how much they've grown over the off-season, do you know what they I mean? They have given what do you mean? <laughs> but yeah. Um, Gold Coast Suns? They try so hard, but they always fall short. I feel like they were a laughing stock for a long time, but I feel like it, they feel a lot more serious as of late. 
still can't take them seriously. But I, I don't think I don't think they're quite there yet as well. I think they're sort of in a Hawthorne sort of bubble. They're a better team than Hawthorne. But yeah, I feel like uh, I I want I really want Gold Coast to be good in due time. So yeah. Oh, actually, I need to Google this. What is this? It is. When did they say? What is this? Babe? So there was a thing about um, Tasmania's new team. Yes, yeah, so I guess we're done for the segment. Okay, well, did you want to... Was there anything else you wanted to add into the segment? Nope. We added top eight, not to make top eight. Was there anything else? Uh, no. We did sort of discuss the wooden spooners. I really do think it's North Melbourne again. You gotta... You're welcome, Mum. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, North Melbourne. <laughs> Get some more of those um, assistance packages from the AFL. <laughs> That's just a, like a low blow fan. Honestly. It's like, hey, we think you're crap. Get help. <laughs> Honestly. That's just, that just sucks to be you, friend. <laughs> like, honestly, that's just harsh. But yeah. Anyways, so, um, yeah, Tasmania are set to announce their... I'm going to sneeze. Oh, my goodness. Their new team... Yeah, new team, new colours, nickname as well. Logo, (coughs) name. Oh my goodness. (coughs) There we are. It's not an earthquake this time. (laughs) Yeah, no, just taking the wind out. Um, Yeah, launch its nickname and colours in March ahead of the team's entry into the 2028. Competition. It's kind of exciting. I've waited for this moment for a long time. I feel like a lot of people have waited for this moment for a long time. And the funny thing is, Tasmania does not want it either. Like, they really don't oh, want Oh, really? It. They really... People don't want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> so this, the Victorians want it, so it's like, okay, might as well. <laughs> Honestly, I think they just... I think a lot of Tasmanians think that... Well, because one of the things was they the government had to put a lot of money into it and Tasmania said why'd you put so much money into a stinking AFL team when you've got like housing prices and stuff but like at the same time if you do that you're gonna get people coming over maybe do you know what I mean it might pay off who knows it might but like you know I think it's gonna just give them a little bit of money throughout the the season look at the very least it's gonna put money into their own state I think I think people yeah. I think there are going to be AFL fans who used to live in Victoria that live in that live in Tassie now and they're trying to watch you know AF do you know what I mean like like people move right and like you know all these Victorian people that now live in Tassie right the only way they can really watch any live footy is literally on the TV right but if they've yeah. now got their own stadium, well, shit, their team might actually be playing at their stadium. Yeah, and people are willing to travel interstate just to watch footy as well. Yeah, exactly, but it's also, like, it, it's not the cheapest of flights, right? It's better than WA. It is. It is. But we'll see. We'll see. It might be interesting, um, but I, look, I, I'm excited for it. I think it will work. I, mean, I think... I understand why Tasmanians feel that it's not necessarily the case, but... Um, oh, definitely bring money into the state. Look, I think if you've got the Victorian people there, they will go to those games and they will put money back into that those games. Exactly. Like, And at, even if that isn't the case, you're going to get sponsors. Yeah. Right? So, like, it, I think it, it, it is going to work out. It probably sucks for the next five years, but after that it will work. And then there's the Olympics, but that's another story for another time. Yeah, I know. Thanks, thanks, Victoria. 
No, like the price of the Olympics have gone up astronomically. Like I had to study this for one of my subjects last year. Oh yeah. And it's just like at what point is too much for the Olympics? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it, I mean, there comes a certain point where it's just like it's a bit ridiculous, and the athletes get paid nothing, right? Like honestly. Like you know, like there's they, nothing. To some extent, they kind of do as well, but I guess it also depends depends on the country as well. Like in Australia, you get like what is it twenty grand or something for a gold medal? If you get a gold, but like you know what I mean? Like you don't like they don't like how many athletes know, are if, participating and not winning medals? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know it's a, it it is kind of. Stupid, kind of productive. I know, especially for all the money. I think the only reason is that, as far as I'm aware, I've never seen sponsors for the Olympics. No, because you can only wear, uh, I think, Nike. Yes, but like, you know, if they actually had other sponsors, then it might actually help. And I feel like that should be... I feel like what I think is that for, you know, like for... There should be, like, the fact that the Sporting Federation should be in charge of, like, the sponsorship and the prize money for that sport in the Olympics, do you know what I mean? Probably. So, like, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because it's like, I can't imagine just, like, Melbourne, like, you know, trying to give all these athletes prize money. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's a whole lot of debt that we can't afford. Anything else? Um, no, not not necessarily. I don't no. think. Do you have any other news? Do I have any other news? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's all my phone and it's gone crazy. Uh, um, uh, oh, so um, we are recording this on Sunday the 3rd of March. I have you tomorrow. <laughs> And uh, one of the events that just happened was that the NRL was played over in Las Vegas for the very first time. I know, people were like, it's half empty. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's America. I don't think they really care. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, they literally went to Allegiant Stadium, which was where the Super Bowl was held. Mm-hmm. So probably most of the people are really kind of sick of Allegiant Stadium at this point as well. <laughs> No, but so I, like, but the, the the thing is also too they hardly fill out stadiums in Australia. Like, yeah. what makes you think you're gonna sell out a stadium in America? Like honestly, so maybe if you're with the Matildas, it'd be a bit different. But like, you know, <laughs> I don't think that would sell. To be honest, <laughs> if they're playing the US team, you. you reckon? Yeah. Mm, questionable, but yeah. Um, but I think it's definitely a, be sold more tickets I actually, for sure. But I definitely think it's probably an exciting chapter for Australian sport. Like you know, AFL tried to do a thing where we played international games in like what, what was it Hong Kong or something or yeah. Singapore or something around there. Mm. I can't quite remember, but I remember watching it on the TV. And I'm just like, what's with all this? Like you know. Backwards writing on the billboards and s- <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> it's, it's not English, <laughs> but um, I feel like that was very short lived. I think that was a, wasn't that a Tony Abbott thing? He tried to. Ex- I don't know. I feel like that was a Tony Abbott scheme. It didn't it was very short lived because it flopped massively, but I think. Yeah, because it's international round. That's what it was called, or whatever. Yeah, and I just I feel like. And I think they had I had tried to do commentators from different languages. Oh no, no. Like Greek and whatever. Oh yeah. I feel like if it goes to the. It was like good on paper, but it failed. I feel like AFL works when you go to bigger. Um, biggest sort of um, interest groups, right? So such as going to America. Americans love their sports. So if you go to America, like a lot of Americans have seen rugby, right? It's kind of to, and I think to Americans, rugby is kind of like the, the, 
piss weak version of. Do you know what I find funny? <laughs> what? Americans think the Super Bowl is bigger than the World Cup. I feel like it's definitely for me. It's a better sport, but it's. If I'm being realistic, it's really not bigger than the World Cup. No, it's, it's really it's, not. It's not even close. Like, like not a lot of like, countries outside of America really care about the Super Bowl, but a lot of countries really care about their football. Like honestly. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I mean. And it's soccer, by the way. That's football. But no, it's it's no, that is crazy. No, it's def. I mean, like. Literally, Brazil and like Argentina alone would probably be bigger than <laughs> the US. <Honestly. laughs> that's just two countries. There's literally like what a whole like fucking sixty countries or some shit watching oh, the World Cup. Europe, <laughs> like literally Europe, right? Eight, you know, most mainland Asian countries. Australia, mate. <laughs> I feel like Australians don't watch. As much soccer as they do other sports. I feel like Aussies are... Tillies. The Tillies have done a lot for a women's sport. In Australia? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's probably a bit... It's, to be honest, I've... Pr- Probably say it's about the same amount as the netball, to be honest. To, to, like, they, like, like, the potatoes sold out of the stadium, right? Like, I, it's hard, like, it's a bigger stadium than a netball stadium. I know, but at the same time, like, I think one of the other things as well was Channel, who was it, Channel 7 or something? They kind of really took a gamble on the Matildas and in the end it did pay off because you know they said oh well we'll broadcast all these games but if the Tildas had bombed out early on well then um then (laughs) Channel 7 would have been stuck broadcasting all these games that no one wants to watch basically (laughs) yeah Yeah. like at the same time it's like you know I feel like a similar thing happened with the the uh, women's uh, cricket World Cup, but like at the, in twenty twenty, because it was advertised so well, we almost sold up the MCG for the grand final. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's just like I feel like I've been saying this for a long time. If you advertise it well, more people will come and see it. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? I feel like advertising does work. I'm also not going to solve all everyone's questions, but mm. it does help. Like, 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 I have a hard time finding when, when the women's team is going to play, but I know when the men's cricket team is going to play because they advertise it all the time. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like it's like, if you advertise it and people know, more people will come. Yeah, I guess I just feel like it's, I feel like people have, um. Oh, what's it called? Um, the recency bias. You know what I mean? It's kind of something I think is similar to that. Like, people want to buy into things that are hot and trendy. You know? So, like, when you promote Tilders, the Matildas are playing, the Tilders are playing. But then when they start to bomb out, like, give them five years, they're probably not going to be the same team. I feel like everyone's going to lose complete interest in them. You know what I mean? Like, no one does that in the AFL. Do you know what I mean? No one does that in the NFL. I feel like for me personally, I do find women's soccer a bit more interesting than men's soccer. I think... uh, And people think I'm crazy. It's like, oh... No, I mean, I think it's fair. I don't really enjoy either, but I feel like if I had to say which one's better, it's probably the women's. It's like, oh... Just like... like, I've had people say, oh, no, that's crazy. Women's games, crap. I was like, it's it's my opinion, first of all, you didn't have to agree with it. (laughs) Second of all, the women don't cry when they get hit. (laughs) Like, one of the things I don't like about... Like penalty, 
shootouts and stuff, or, you know, just a free kick. Is it called a direct free kick or something? Whatever it is, where you're just right in front at the circle. You know how there's that circle? They put the ball in the circle, and then a shooter just goes and kicks it straight into the goal. Circle? I say a circle. It's like a dot. Oh, okay. So it's like a... So so there's... Free kick thing. If it's like a direct free kick or not. I oh, know there's like a direct and there's an indirect free kick. I'm not sure which one's what. And... For corners. <laughs> we have corner kicks. Whatever. Anyways. But like there's that dot and then they kick it. Like in the men's competition, what's the point of having a goalie? I've never seen them block a, f- a free kick. This is, yeah, because I, this is what it... Because I think... And women's soccer is played differently. They're not, they're not played the same. Like, they're the same sport, but it's like, I feel like it's played just a bit differently. I just feel like... that makes sense. But, like, when we were watching the France versus Matilda's shootout... I was crying my eyes out. But, like, the goalies actually had a chance to block the ball. Do you know what I mean? I feel like in the men's, there's really no chance. It's like, what's the point of having the goalie there? He might as well just be like, there it is. You just got to get it in the rectangle. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know I'm what I mean? I'm sure the reason for that. I'm sure someone can explain that. But, like, I don't know. I feel like... But, it's like, at the same time, too, you can't forget that these athletes used to have to work multiple part-time jobs just to be able to compete in the team so they didn't have as much time to... Oh, heaven forbid they have to work a job now, hey? <laughs> well, yeah. I know the Matilda's don't have to, but, like, do you know what I mean? Oh, you're it's talking like... about the women's. I thought you were talking about the men's. No, the women's. <laughs> like, like, the women's, like, they, they'd have to work multiple part-time jobs just to support themselves so they can play. Do you know what I mean? I think. Yeah. Because now, since the recent Women's World Cup... The pay's <laughs> the pay the pay's gone up for like for like a lot of countries and so they don't really have to work anymore. But like so I feel like it might have something to do with maybe like training. I don't know. Yeah, but at you the know, same it's, time it's, it's hard to I feel like you can't it's, it's unfair to compare <laughs> men's and women's sport of any kind. Because men and women aren't different are built different Mm, mm, mm. Mm, I think I think it can be fair to compare them like AFL and AFLW AFLW is garbage I know you like I like the scrappiness of it I hate I just hate pylons. It's like, what am I watching? I like it. It's it's like it's like when you know if you were a kindergarten che- teacher and you had like all these fat kids that just kept tumbling over and falling over and then fell on top. It's like what I'm watching. It's like I might as well just be watching kindergarten kids. No. <laughs> Stop it. It's just but like I feel like. No, the reason why I feel like it's unfair to compare men and females sports is just because they are both biologically different, right? Like, it's never, like, a woman's not going to do what a man can do and vice versa. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you see it especially in squash, women struggle with side-to-side movements more than men for some reason. Mm. Like a burst will catch out a woman more than it'll catch out a man playing with squash. Yeah. Biologically, why? I have no idea. Maybe we should look into it, but like. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like these, it's especially, you see it right now when like women's uh, football. Soccer. Soccer, sorry, I was meant to mock you, but (laughs) anyway, what you call soccer, which is actually football, like a lot of. Females do a lot more ACLs, and they're trying to figure out why. Do you know, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, like it's such an issue. I feel like, and if, and sorry, but like one of the one of the reasons might be is because the football boots were made for men's foot, 
not for females. So that could be a reason, but like at the same time, there needs to be a lot more research to go into this. I actually think there might be something about because when you play soccer, or at least when you watch the professionals playing soccer, they look like they look down a lot, and I feel like maybe for women, maybe there's something about looking down and then trying to move, um, trying to make like an abrupt movement. Do you know what I mean? Because when you look down, you don't actually have the best sense of balance. Do you know what I mean? And then making those like sharp movements might just be enough just to cause the ACL. Do you know I what I mean? I feel like men do that too. I know, but at the same, like you said, men and women are built physiologically different. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hip size is different, leg size is different, leg mm-hmm. structure is different, and maybe it's just better for, it's, maybe the actual impact, that sharp impact is better on men than it is on women. Well, like, when I did this, I just Again, researched I... on this in one of my subjects, I think, last year, is that what tends to happen is I feel like a lot of parents allow their sons to, like, climb up trees and sort of jump yeah, off Yeah, I know, them. it's great. <laughs> and that does actually, like, that helps strengthen the knee joints. Yeah. Whereas parents tend to protect their daughters and not want them to do that for some reason, even though it's the same consequences for both genders. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. It's like, it's like parents were are comfortable letting their boys play contact sport, but don't like it when their daughters play contact sport. And it's just like, it's, got, it's the same consequence for, like, I don't understand. Do you know what I mean? Well, I mean, I guess there is some argument to it as well, right? Like, men also do have slightly higher bone density as well, right? So it means that we can also withstand impact a little bit better than women. You know, but if you start at a young age... If you start at a young age, I could... I, like, we, you could beat up a five-year-old, you know, and break their bones. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you start at a young age, I feel like your body learns to, like, adapt to that, if that makes sense. Mm, yeah. I, I feel like it's all about exposure. I, I think there probably is something about... Again, coming back to the whole soccer ACL thing, I, I really do think that balance is a big thing right i feel like and it might again just be because men maybe do it at a young age when they're bought you know little boys and so on but i feel like balance is a really big thing and you kind of i feel like as as a boy i feel like maybe you know those young age things like you kind of learn balance yeah i feel like you just have to like kind of, allow your kids to get injured like when I, like for like instance, when I was young, I used to. This sounds retarded, but I literally used to hold my head like on on its side, and I'd like try and walk to school with my head on my side. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's stupid. Because I, because you know you often like when you're like six years old, you start drifting off in that direction where your head's going. <laughs> so you kind of like try and learn how to balance your path. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just those little. But stupid, like, men just do stupid things like that, and it probably does help them athletically as well. But it's like, you just need to, <laughs> like, I don't know what if any parents are here, and like, you need to allow, like, your kids to just get injured. Like, explore the world, get injured, toughen up. Yeah, honestly. Do you know what no, I mean? No, I think, actually, no, I don't disagree with that at all. <laughs> what? I don't disagree with that at all. Yeah, I feel like you just, like, I don't understand I, I, the need to... I, I do think that a lot of things now are all too child friendly too child safe men and women it's like get out and you know get a teaspoon of concrete and harden the fuck up <laughs> honestly that's like i i don't like for me personally like it's the same with germs right like it's how they get build their immune system yeah i know i literally was literally sitting in the backyard like eating sticks and shit like, you know what i mean it's like, I, <laughs> dirt like sticks, I don't you name it i personally don't wash fruit before i eat it yeah. Just in hopes that I can get a better <laughs> system. The only thing I didn't do when I was young, which I know plenty of kids have done, was like eat worms or eat grubs and stuff, but I didn't because I was told a big fucking fib, but I believed the shit out of it because I was dumb and naive. Yeah, I mean... And I was told, if you eat it, it's going to eat your brain. <laughs> or, you know, eat something inside your body. I'm like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> Did you ever believe when you were little that if you ate a seed that it would grow inside you? 
No, I don't no. think so. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> With watermelon seeds. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so you're like there just trying to pick out all the watermelon <laughs> seeds. <laughs> You're at birthday all the par- lies. You're at you're at the birthday parties and like all these kids are like, oh my god, look at Maria, she's picking all the seeds out. Just fucking eat them. <laughs> Stop it. Do you have any news? Any more news? <laughs> no, I don't think I'm done. <laughs> Anything else? Um I mean I was gonna maybe talk about the NCAA division or softball, but I think I talked about oh yeah, I was Talking about it earlier on, I was saying how Oklahoma State University is the team that I follow. Um, and they played... Uh, team in green. Mm, I think they started with a T. I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, that was a really interesting game. Um, because what happened was... Uh, I thought it would be a walkover because they, they're not even a ranked team. So I was like, alright, yeah, cool. I think it was the second inning. At the end of the second inning, the other team was up 6-love. Or 6 nothing, And then, in the end, Oklahoma State came back in the last five innings to win, I think, like, 9-6 to six or something. <laughs> for a softball game. Like, that was crazy. The craziest game ever. So, yeah. But, yeah, it was really fun to watch. Nice. Yeah. Anyways, I'll be watching more Oklahoma State University softball as much as I can. Um, So, yeah, if you like listening to softball news on this podcast, let us know in the description or in the comments or whatever. Whatever it's called. Yep. Anyways, is there another segment? Uh, if you want to. So I guess that's no. <laughs> I mean, it's just been a long podcast. I know, time. I know. Alright, maybe we'll save it for next time, shall we? Yeah. Alright. Did you have anything else you want to add, babe? No, not really. I didn't prepare too much, but there's not really too much happening. Yeah, fair enough. All I really cared about was the Tillies for the past week. and. No, that's fair. That's fair. Mm. But yeah. We've got a few... Um, not necessarily like podcast related, but we got like our own gimmicky things that we're planning to do for things like um the AFL season opener and so on. But yeah, um, we want to try out a new place um for dinner when Bulldogs and Essendon play each other in round five because well, if your team loses, you might as well have a nice dinner, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a I like I, I always dad oh this is like just between dad and I dad's like oh this is gonna be off season yeah we're gonna win I'm just like nah <laughs> nah I'm like can you just tell your dad to be really pessimistic and just say nah fuck this year we're gonna suck and then that way you actually win <laughs> you don't understand how many times I've told dad oh no nah, this is our season <laughs> no it's not <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Has he said it this year? He says it every single... Every, t- every time it's like, oh, no, next year. Next year. We've got it next year, fam. We have it next year. <laughs> next year's our year. You were, you've been saying that for, what, like 50 years of your life? 56? No. What, is, what did Chat GPT say? It was Bulldogs this year and uh, then... No, no, was it, it was Brown Bond and Pilot this year for Brown Lowe, and then I think it was... I have it on my phone, actually. I think it was Bulldogs win 2026. Yeah, I think that's, that sounds about right. So yeah, Brownlow for Bont this year. I put it on my to-do list. Yeah, 2026. In your to-do list. That's <laughs> on my to-do list. Bont is on the to-do you list. You need to get that my to-do list, fam. Honestly, if you don't, well, Maria's going to have words with you. Honestly, <laughs> like, I just need you to... Don't worry, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll hashtag Marcus Bontempelli. Somewhere, I think. <laughs> I should, like, take a screenshot and be like, hey, Bulldogs, can you please complete? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I need help. Completing my to-do list <laughs> for the next few years. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, yeah. Anyways, 
Um, well, I guess with that being said, we'll we'll leave it there for the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Bye to twenty twenty four. Bye. <laughs> Peace. So yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for the next episode, um, which will be episode forty. This is episode thirty nine. It's not nearly as great as episode thirty eight. Thirty eight was the best episode. You're just of a the bit world. biased. What? <laughs> Bit it's the best, is it? Like, is it, what about Garcia? Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, it's a great number, isn't it? But like, he's not Bond. <laughs> I need a new favorite player. What if he was? Has he ever been captain, Garcia? What if he was like a the vice captain? Bro, no, he's like I think he's younger than me, like by a year or so. Riley Garcia. 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 I think that's why his name is wrong, but I don't care. Okay. Yeah, he's 23. The stash makes him look way older. He's 23, I'm 25. The stash he makes is, him look way older. He's not even in my age range, fam. The stash makes him look way older. He's not in my age range. Okay, whatever. But yeah. Anyways. I have a very picky age range. Thanks. You know what? You fit in just. <laughs> like, I'm 25, and it's like my age range is 24 to 27. <laughs> I don't want party people, so I don't want too much younger. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. No, I don't want that. What about what about the wedding? <laughs> Older than me. <laughs> it's going to be a chill wedding, fair. <laughs> Anyways, um... I will not be wearing makeup. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get to really get shit face on the podcast. Oh, well. I'm ready for bed, though. I had school. Get school. I had school. That's not funny. <laughs> Can I draw on your face, then? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So well, funny. With that being said, we'll uh, leave it there. And... Join us next time for your next serve of M&M's. Chilies.